Okay, going to part two of sprayer. All right, before I forgot to mention this, I talked about this quick change connect connection. Okay, which is here, this fitting right here. And this is a quarter inch thread, female thread, which threads onto the pipe here. And then it changes to this quick connect from T-Jet, which I showed you the other fitting from the other spray tip. Okay, this is your regulator. I'm gonna put it back into open mode. There's no chemicals in this. This is just water right now. I'm just showing you how the operation works. Okay, what it what I have it set at right now is 40 psi in the open position. If I turn on the lawnmower, you're really not gonna hear me over talk the lawnmower itself. So I'm just gonna show you what it how to do this, and then I'm gonna turn the mower on and walk through the same steps again without words because you'll cannot you won't be able to hear me properly. Okay, I'm going to set this to 40 PSI, and you have any fluid that is over the 40 PSI is going to flow back through there into the tank and mix the tank. So you kind of constant mix. Now, going back to what I said before where you can't find the proper information, you want your pump at least double what you need. I approximately need um, per minute... I need, I can't remember the exact number, but it's around two gallons per minute. That's what I need total, because I, I run my, my sprayer in 33 seconds at 40, 40, uh, four miles an hour on my, my zero turn tractor here. I can put out exactly 128 ounces in 33 seconds. So, you're putting a gallon down per thousand. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit less than that because I'm actually putting down 42 gallons per acre. So I'm just a touch under the gallon per acre uh, aspect. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn on the lawnmower. I mean, the lawn, the zero turn to, to do this. But I, again, this is my by the valve to open to my spray boom. But right now I have it in bypass mode. So let's say if I have this set at 40, 40 pounds and this is open. Uh, it's only reading 40 pounds of pressure and it's going to blow back into the tank through the return Okay, which means that I can have I can use my my hand sprayer here at 40 psi and That's going to be fine and dandy But now that's only one nozzle now when I go to my boom using my boom It's three nozzles. So the volume of water is going to be more so I'm you're going to watch that gauge drop lower than what it actually uh, is set for because now I'm using more water. So now I'm gonna have to adjust the regulator to bring it back up to 40 PSI. And once I set that 40 PSI, I'm gonna turn it off and we'll talk a little bit further through that. But this, here we go. This is how we're gonna start it. So what I explained to you before, because now I'm actually picking up the volume of how much I'm spraying out, I had to adjust the regulator in more to close up, to raise the pressure up on my spray boom. Okay. Now, as you saw, also, I showed you that it, when it was bypassing, that I was dumping fluid back into the tank and mixing the tank. And as before, uh, when you are using a sprayer, your pump has to be at least two times the size of your demand. So you have to take your how much fluid ounces you're putting out which i'm putting out 42 ounces per 33 seconds so that means again because i'm only running uh four miles an hour which i set my 
zero turn two because Toro has a smart speed setting on it, which works out pretty well because then I don't have to worry about uh, going too fast, going too slow. I just put the lever into trim mode, leave it in full throttle, push the arms fully forward, and I'm at four miles an hour. And then I start spraying. Okay, so again, because of the way I have it set up, I'm using 42 gallons for every 33 seconds. So if you do the math, that's, for, that's each nozzle. Each nozzle is putting out 42 ounces. So if you do the math, which I didn't do off the top of my head, let's just say um, 106, 126 ounces, which 128 ounces in a minute. So I am just under two gallons per, per minute. Which means, like I said, my pump is a 4 GPM pump, so I had to upsize it so this way I can get the proper flow and mixture in the tank again. Uh, also, I wanted to go over one last thing. This is from the old days in sprayers. It's called Whales. And this is just a reminder how to mix all your products, your wettable powders, meaning your mixable uh, powders, such as your pre-emergent that is uh, granulated, that is water-soluble. You put that in, then you agitate your your mixture. You start agitating your mixture. You start putting your liquid formula in, such as, like, I will never do this in here, but you put your liquid formulas like uh, uh, ortho, for you, your total vegetation killer, and such like that. Then your fertilizers, your uh, liquid fertilizers. And then after that, you put your any and all surfactants in very last. It's very important that you do follow that. Now, the other thing is that I changed since the last video, which was a little bit of an upgrade, 15 bucks, is that I actually bought a glycol field pressure gauge. This way, the gauge is not bouncing, so I can actually see what is going on. Again, if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer them in the, qu in the, in the question section. If, you, if I can help you out in any way, reach out for me, and I sure will try my best to help you out. Have a good day.